Uh, before we get going on the new notes here, I'd like to talk about this problem. Here's the tree right here. That's a T for tree. Um, this angle right here was converted from degrees, minutes, seconds. This angle was converted from degrees, minutes, seconds. Notice we had to take 90 minus 33.367 or to get that angle um, because we're going to work within this right triangle here. Uh, we were told that this is 400 meters and we wanted to find X. Okay, so uh, right triangle trig. Um, knowing that this was 400 meters over here, I could set this length equal to 400 minus some value W, and therefore this length over here would be W. So if I took 400 minus W plus W, I'd get 400. So I've assigned a second variable. Let's work in the first triangle up here. Uh, let's work this one out first. And what let's, let's solve for X. How about that? So over here, I would use my angle 56.63, and I'd take the tangent of that angle is equal to the opposite over the hypot or excuse me over the adjacent, which would be 400 minus W. Okay, so what would X equal? Well, X would equal 400 minus W times the tangent of that angle. Okay, so I've solved for x. Go figure. I'm going to do the same thing in the second triangle. Well, let's set that up. Anybody want to give me a... Um... Anybody want to help with the setup? Yep. Say, say louder. equals x, right? Okay, so I'm going to set it up deliberately this way. You're absolutely right. Equals x over w. So therefore, w times tan 36.67 is equal to x. And now that I know what x equals, I can set those equal to each other and solve for w. And then that will assist us in finding x afterwards. Let me be efficient. So I'm just writing all this stuff down. Let me duplicate this. Okay. And let me duplicate this. Okay. Since they're equal, both equal to x, they'd be equal to each other. Let me get rid of that and that. Okay, so now if your algebra is messed up, then you might want to find it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take tangent of 56.63 and distribute to both of these. So that would be 400 times tangent of 56.63 degrees minus W times tangent of 56.63 degrees. You're probably tempted to just, you know, write 56.63 as some decimal value approximation of that. Don't. Uh, and here is why. Well, because you'll be less exact and because of this. What am I going to do now? I want to get what all alone? W. So I'm going to add W times the tangent of 56.63 to both sides. And so on the left, I get this 400 times tangent 56.63. On the right, I get this. W times the sum of these two things. Oops, that's a 6. Okay. Do you see that? I factored a W out of both of those. Okay, so then now, because I'm going to be lazy, I'm going to divide both sides by this thing. Let me duplicate it. I don't want to rewrite all that. And you have the capability of doing this now, too. Oh, dang it. Ah. 
Okay, let me ungroup all this garbage. Oh, there we go. Uh, duplicate. I'm going to divide both sides by that. So, of course, on the right now I get W. On the left, I'm going to get something. All right? And here's where your ability to use your calculator without screwing things up would be good. Uh, type that in to your calculator. Let's see what you get. I'm going to do the same in mine. I, I'm guessing I did. Yep. That should be a 3. This should be a 3. Well, these are all. Yep. Okay, so that's 33.67. That would jack things up, wouldn't it? All right, let me try that again since I'm a failure. I'll tell my dad. My dad's a retired math. Uh, w is this. And therefore, now we can find X because this is 36.67 degrees. W here is going to be 268. Oh, that's an 8.38. We can now find X using tangents. 400 minus W is up here. So this down here is W. Right? So that triangle side length there would be, uh, of course, then... Inverse tangent of 36.67 equals x, this is nice, uh, over 268.38. You always want your variable on top if you can, so that all you have to do is multiply. Okay, we'll go with it and see what we get. Uh, so I want to take 268.38 times the tangent of 36.67. And let's see if we get close to 200 like I got on my... Uh, all right, there we go. Thank you. So X is approximately, and I would go approximately here, 199 point what, Joey? A3. A3. Is that meters, I think? There we go. Okay. Uh, the ins and outs of the algebra there are the hardest part. Can you keep from messing up the algebra as you subtract, divide, and especially when you type it in your calculator? What I would do as I type it in my calculator, I put that in some kind of brackets or parentheses. And then, of course, this in brackets or parentheses with division in between to ensure that I've nested it correctly. If you don't, you'll probably get you know, some kind of brain malfunction. Okay? So far, so good? Uh, I would say that that's a difficult R3. Difficult R3.